Hello, this is an unboxing and first impressions video of the Intova Sport HD waterproof high definition video sports camera and the IFL WA Zoom video light flashlight. Very kindly sent to us by Joe Gunnell at Intova. It's a Hawaiian company and they've not been going that long I don't think in terms of uh, producing this particular camera and they very kindly sent it to us. There is a new one, a new version about to come out very shortly which is even better but uh, for now he's sent this very kindly over to us via Nathan at uh, CPS in the UK who is the UK distributor and also uh, David over at Great Digital Deals is sending on a colour correction filter which goes on the front of this camera which is absolutely fantastic. Now a lot of you are probably saying Oh, another one of those point of view cameras. What's different about this one? Yes, it is very similar to certain other ones out there on the market, but it does have some very distinct differences. One of which I really do like is the capability of a manual white balance. There's a lot of controls on this particular camera, which you'll see in a moment as soon as I get it actually out of the box. The other thing is the housing floats. How many times have divers dropped their camera and it drops to the bottom? Okay, if you've got it attached to a load of lighting and other stuff, fair enough, it probably will still sink. But for those of you who just use it as a bare bones camera in its housing, I think this is a great idea. Very well packed. Very well packed. Now, first of all, wow. There we go, that's the underwater light. And that's good to 122 metres. It comes with, with batteries, which are the CR123As. Quite powerful lithiums those. And we've got a little clamp here for the light. And the main star of the box, the actual Intova Sport HD camera itself. That, that's good to 60 metres. I think that's well beyond anything I want to go to. So let's have a look, a look at this. Uh... Now that's good. It also includes an 8 gigabyte memory card. I've actually gone and got uh, another 32 gig memory card for this. Class 10, they recommend class 10 or above for these. And I think really that's a given. I mean, they're so cheap now, these, these SD cards. You would really be um, a false economy to try anything slower. So let's get it out of the box. What have we got? Okay, a Duracell, so it's a known brand of memory card. That's very good. There's a product registration card. Allows you to put it, uh, send it off to them. So we have a Duracell known brand memory card in there, which I think is excellent. And of course, the camera itself and a load of accessories. First thing you'll notice. The lens is more central than certain other cameras, but also it has an LCD screen built in, actually inside the main body of the camera. There's also a lot more controls on the back. You've got controls for the mode, the menu, um, OK and up and down for various things. Let's see how easy it is to get out. OK, nice click. and. See if I can open it up. It's a little bit stiff, I don't know. Ah, it's the O rings, of course. Okay, so that's into the housing. Can't actually seem to get it out right now. Let's see if we can pop it out. Maybe it actually stays in. Oh, it looks like it actually is part of it. Okay, so the one thing you don't have with this one, which I can see straight away, is an HDMI output on this particular model so you can't look at video from this other than on the LCD screen but the LCD screen is built in the battery is also built into this which is quite nice uh, I believe it's good for over two hours so it's at least two dives assuming you're not too uh, too needy with the uh, viewfinder um, and then you've got all the, uh, the controls so the SD card obviously goes in there it's a micro SD which 
I don't particularly like them, so that's another reason for getting a higher capacity card so that you can actually leave it in the camera and uh, use the USB cable to download from it. So that's that's pretty well it. The other thing I like about this is it actually does have a threaded base to it, a standard tripod threaded base, and that again I think is quite a nice touch. Allows you to put it onto a load of ordinary standard fittings and away you go. Um, not quite sure how uh, the clamp for the light will fit on there. I'm imagining it possibly goes onto the base of the unit itself. Let's have a little look. Let's just see if that screws on there somehow. It's a little bit fiddly. I'm not sure if that is the right fitting. No, so I'm not quite sure what we fit that to at the moment, but I'm sure we'll figure it out later. What else comes in the box? A lanyard, very good, also very useful. A lens cap, very nice to protect the front of the lens when you're on that dive boat. Now, it also comes with a load of other uh, additional fixtures and fittings. There is a macro lens which will uh, enable you to use this underwater uh, up to three feet, uh, or rather just over three feet one meter, which means you can get into all those uh, nice close-ups of nudibranchs and things like that, the coral. And uh, another thing that goes over this is a color correction filter which is on its way and I'll show you that uh, shortly. So they all go over the front of that, very nice. We get what looks like a mini USB to USB lead and uh, AV out, so that'll be standard definition for video and audio. And there's also a little CD, which I imagine is yet to be used a manual in, uh, on a disc there. And then in addition to that, a standard warranty. And what's this one? Important notes for water use. So I imagine that's about, uh, yeah, how to look after your O-rings make sure you uh, keep them nice and clean and suitably greased up. And here is a sheet with all the accessories that you can get. Looks quite good. You can wear a harness for uh, action sports, helmet adapters, um, there's bendy arms, all sorts. So again, that looks very good. So following on from earlier with the Intova Sport HD, you can see with the lens cap on the front here and what we've just received is the SP1 red filter for underwater and this just uh, fits on the front and it's got uh, got protective plastic on uh, both both sides at the moment just to protect the uh, the optics there but it does just fit on the front push fits on, nice good snug fit and a good aperture too so uh, plenty of light getting in there and we'll be able to uh, try that out along with the light. I have actually already made up a little bracket temporarily to uh, fit the camera and that uh, torch light on with a bendy arm and I shall actually be trying that out um, in a few weeks time and come back to you with results. Let's go and have a quick look at the actual torch. Let's see if we can break into that now. I probably won't put the batteries on it uh, straight away. But, uh, these things are always a, a fight to get into, so I tend to use my scissors a lot quicker. Break the seal. There we go. Always have a fight with these things. Right. Okay, let's prepare some space here so we can see the camera. And so, as I say, it's just come with batteries, which is nice. They last up to eight hours. Full brightness for eight hours in this torch. And it's a 220 lumen torch. Oh, a nice little pouch for it to go in, Velcro uh, pouch. Again, another lanyard so that you don't lose it. And the nice thing about this torch is that it has a uh, variable angle 
of illumination. And that goes from about 9 to 45 degrees via this sliding head. And then you can actually remove the head for a diffused light, which is approximately 140 degrees. So that will cover the viewing angle of the camera's uh, angle. I'm not going to plug this in and switch it on just yet, but uh, it does look nice. Substantial aluminium. Nice feel to that. Nice feel. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying these out shortly. I will also be doing a comparison video of this and the other two types of point of view cameras that we've got so that we can actually tell the differences. I think they've all got their own merits. Uh, they all appeal to different people for different reasons and I will be going through that and discussing that with you. But for now, this is a first look at the Intova Sport HG full 1080p camera with LCD back. And again, thanks to uh, Joe at Intova for sending this to us.